Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is DJ Ninja. Kindly subscribe if you are new to this channel. If you are returning subscriber, thank you. So this is my farm and uh, in the beginning of this year I had planted beans but unfortunately they have dismally performed as you can see there are a lot of birds around this place so they have been feasting on these leaves uh, so I don't expect a, a bumper harvest from the from these beans, but it has been a learning experience. Uh, at least I've known that uh, when planting beans, one should uh, come up with a plan to ensure that uh, there are no birds around and chicken. You can see. They have really feasted on them. They were doing well, but uh, the birds started feasting on them. And then there are also some rodents. Uh, in Swahili, we refer to them as panya. Panya are rats. There are some rodents that are, were feasting on them. But uh, <coughs> it has been a learning experience. Next time, I should improve. Uh, so this is the season for planting of maize and even beans. I'll, uh, I'll still purchase some more beans and maize. We have uh, planted this pumpkin. Yeah, they are doing quite well. These are pumpkin leaves. In Swahili, we call them sebebe. Is that Swahili? Yes, sebebe. Uh, they are very good. Greens. These are organic. Uh, we have I've used uh, manure from uh, poultry manure to apply on them. So yesterday it uh, rained so heavily and at uh, this moment the, the water has properly percolated deep down in the soil. So in a day or starting from today I think most of people will be planting their their seeds so i wanna go over to a lot of town to, to purchase a fertilizer dap fertilizer and uh, i had made a purchase of some seeds maize seeds from uh, kenya seeds company kenya seed company so what i'll I want I want to go over to is to make a purchase of uh, at least a bag or two of fertilizers. Uh, for planting season for this planting season. Oh, let me also go and show you this another parcel of land that uh me and my relative we collaborated to to plow we're also making plans to to plant over there so this is the place that uh, we collaborated and plowed and uh, i think by this time the rain has gotten into the soil just the way that is it's required before planting and what we'll be doing is just to make a, 
either furrows or some shallow basins in a line and then we'll plant uh, we plowed using a, a tractor and then uh, my relative just embarked on using a hoe to a jam to break the large lamps uh, this is like it's a quarter of an acre yeah, it's a quarter of an acre so this is it guys I wanna rush to town and purchase fertilizer DAP fertilizer uh, during plant planting we use DAP diammonium phosphate which helps in uh, root development and then later on we will top dress using CAN calcium ammonia nitride and later on uh, urea and also we'll apply foliar fertilizers foliar fertilizers majorly is a, the kind of fertilizer that, that is fed on on the leaves guys i'm not an uh, an agricultural expert the last in fact in high school i didn't do agriculture i only did agriculture up to form two for those who are not Kenyans, uh, the, uh, the, the, the curriculum that I went through was known as 844. In 844, there was a nursery school or kindergarten, and then primary school, and then later one will progress to, to high school. High school and then to tertiary institution, either college or a university. So in high school at form 2 one normally chooses uh, a combination of subjects to partake so there are some who end up choosing sa something like a co uh, subject like agriculture but uh, personally I did agriculture up to form 2 level uh, and then later on, I actually took computer studies. Yes. So agriculture is, uh, I can say that is the backbone of uh, Kenyan economy. Uh, majority of people do engage in agriculture. Yeah. And uh, this county is a major producer of uh, maize. This county and uh, there is a neighboring county known as Transoia County. Uh, the major cash crops over there is maize farming. And it's done in large scale farming. Personally, we are just doing it under small scale farming. This is Wakulima Wadogo. I've just used Swahili word saying that we are small scale farmers. Uh, yeah, so guys, that's it. That's the video for today. Not the video for today. The video for at this point in time. Because I'm heading over to to Eldore town. I'm, I'm, I'm staying uh, on the outskirts of Eldore town. But uh, this place is, is not that far and uh, I know a few years from now this area will be highly developed. So that's it guys. Uh, there is also an unfortunate situation that happened. I, I have a... Um, mm, uh, a temporary toilet that was made of, up of uh, 
corrugated iron sheet. Unfortunately, there was strong wind and uh, it blew all all the iron sheets away. So you can see at the moment I, I don't have a toilet. Uh, within a few days I should work on this and uh, put up a new toilet. I should, I'm thinking of putting up a permanent structure toilet. So at the moment guys I don't have a toilet. I'm depending on my neighbors. I should uh, make it at make it a hair stand. Put it up as fast as possible. You see, can see I decided to cover it so that uh, a lot of water may not be able to get in. Yeah, guys, this. These are some of the of the iron sheets that uh, were blown away. Uh, I'll work on it within uh, some few days. Yes, yeah, so let me prepare and go over to to purchase the fertilizer. So guys, I'm from town. I've already made the purchase of the fertilizer. As you can see, Chapa Sulai Bolea. DAP diammonium phosphate I've purchased it at uh, around uh, 12 dollars 10 to 12 dollars you can see 1250 So this one will serve for a quarter of an acre.